Hey guys, welcome back to St James's Park. It's been over a month, but we are here today. The Castanet versus West Ham. Huge six pointer in terms of European football next season. I feel like for us, when you've got players like Bruno at his second of the club, you've got to keep hold of these players. And European football is going to be a major factor in doing so. Big, big game for the club. Today, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I woke up earlier. It's a nice Saturday half 12 kick. I don't know if I've just woke up always and I'm quite confident. But I fancy us today. West Ham's a team I like a lot. One of my biggest regrets over the past 10 years of support in Newcastle is us not signing Jared Bowen. We had that chance to sign. We didn't do it. I absolutely love watching him play. He's such a good player. Like to Lucas Paqueta as well, someone that was well in the Newcastle top uh, before he joined West Ham. Players that you think, oh, he kind of wished to play for us, but I rate these a lot. They've done quite well actually since they sort deck them In fact, they actually look arguably better with the players have actually been able to invest around in the squad. And that's uh, the position where Newcastle now want to try and find themselves and make a good player sales in order to reinvest in the team. But today, taking on a good team that is a bit inconsistent though. You don't know what West Ham team's actually going to turn up today. And then after that, Everton on the Tuesday night, a team that is a massive, I would call a banana skin team, a team that is quite easily capable of taking points off you, but on paper you're still expecting Castle to hopefully uh, beat them. Big week uh, with the Fulham game as well, so these next three games are, are more or less going to say when Castle finishes the season. We, in my personal opinion, we've got to get a minimum seven points. Uh, um, the reason why I, I state that we should have such a high amount of points is because if we don't get the points here, where do we get the points? Uh, we haven't got enough games left, we've got to We've got to start getting these runs going now, otherwise we're screwed. So, despite the injuries, despite the suspensions, we've got to get the job done today. I'm going to back us against West Ham. However, the mags, let's get in there and let's get three points at St James Park. Well, here we are, guys. We are now at St James's Park. Matty from the Magpie Channel is here. Early morning, half 12 kickoff, but we are finally back here after waiting for over a month now. Take on West Ham. Huge six pointer, isn't it? It really is a six pointer, mate. I'm scared of this game, you know, because I'm confident. I'm seeing we're going to win, but I don't want to give it the big and too much because that's that's hurt in the past. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a massive game. I just hope the players, I'm sure they will understand just how important this game is. I think the next week is going to really dictate our season to be honest with you but today we literally need to beat the team that we want to overtake to be honest with you you know we'll close the gap to one point if we beat West Ham with a game in hand then we've got Evan on Tuesday night massive games coming up mate to, to must win this one yeah we well, just touched on it there actually I know game such as the Brighton one here as well are going to be huge but I feel like this week as a whole is, is going to heavily decide where our season finishes that Everton game on the Tuesday uh, worries me somewhat because obviously we're going to have to somewhat man manage who's going to play today who's going to play on Tuesday and uh I always get the sense Everton's kind of a, a bit of a banana skin team yeah. the kind of team that is able to take points off when you're not watching West Ham good side I like West Ham a lot so going into this game I'm confident as always I'm always confident but you've seen so far this season these are the sort of fixtures that we just don't tend to pick up results in it is it's difficult like it's the ones where you know we beat Arsenal here and then we'll struggle against Luton we'll struggle against Bournemouth we've got pumped off Forest so it's really hard to call West Ham are just as, as hard a team to call as well to be fair you know one week they look impressive they're scoring goals next week they're conceding goals so they're a real mixed bag I think we've got to come out the day though they've had a little break in Dubai Gordon's on a high plane for England Back here, team Sheamus Park. Last team one year, felt like ages ago, that 3 0 win against Wolves. Same again today, man. Get a win. Big win. I think it'll be an open game. I'm going to go for a 2 1 win, mate. Hello, guys. It's JJ Charm from TikTok and YouTube, and it's a pleasure to be back on the LMP's YouTube channel. Big here, local here in the background. We are back here at St James's Park. Quite excited for this one. I don't know about you, you made the trip up last night all the way from Ball. We've got a long way to get here, so I'm sure you got high expectations for this one. Yeah, I have, mate. It's, a, it's almost a must win because you look at the table, you look at how tight it is. There's four or five teams competing in the Conference League place. So I am nervous for sure, but I'm confident we can get the job done today. I am a little bit confident. So. Narrow win, I reckon. Narrow win. Yeah. You got a score prediction in mind for that narrow win? Yeah, mate. I'm going to go for a 2 1 Newcastle United win. I'm going to go Alexander Isak and Anthony New York with the goals. Uh, Jacob Bajori. You got a YouTube channel, don't you? You want I, to tell people about that? Uh, just, just recently started. Just like, just sort of video in the match and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, uh, I, I'm going for a three-one win a day against West Ham. I think Isak will get two. Gordon will get one. And I reckon for West Ham, Lucas Paquetta will score. 
Yeah, I do like some players of West Ham. As I mentioned before, there, I like the likes of Jared Bonus. Well, they've got some great players of West Ham, so definitely not a team to underestimate. But uh, finally, for me, good on you for starting YouTube. I know you just said that you, you only just started now. Everyone starts somewhere, and I'm sure as you get more used to it, you get into it more. And hopefully, it's something you enjoy doing. I know we've got a bit of a tough period in our season, but listen, we'll come back, we'll bounce back, and just make sure you, you're getting the videos done for when we're potentially in European football next season. <laughs> Charlie, we're back again. We're from Charlie Talks. Yep, and it's Peter Charlie's dad. So, what are we thinking about this West Ham game today? Six point out, Hartwell kickoff. Are we confident? I think it's going to be a very interesting game. West Ham have got a lot of you know pace, so I think they could cause Newcastle some problems, especially if Dan Moon plays. But overall, I think I think it is going to be close. Of course, it would be nice if Newcastle win, but. I think a draw, two-two. I'm going for a draw. Well, I think West Ham are, you know, a hit and miss team that can be really good on the day. It's nice to be back after the international break. I think they'll try and exploit um, our lack of pace at the back with Jared Bowen and Kudos. But I'm still positive, so I'm going to see a two-one win to Newcastle. Hope you can get the three points. I'll ask you one final question as well. Now, um, I think I don't know if you've seen much in article-wise or anything online, but I think there's always a sense of doubt about Eddie Howe's future at the club, and I think. Especially for Newcastle fans, I'll show you, gives you opinion in a sec. But surely you back this man to be our manager next season. Yeah, I mean, I think so, especially with all the injuries and, of course, the new signings like Tonali. These were just unfortunate events that the club can't really control. So I think it would be unfair to, to get rid of him. I agree 100% back how. I think he's the right man for the club. I think we've had lots of injuries this season. We've had the Champions League overachieved last season. We've got to stick with him and give him a chance and give him some money to bring in a bet, some better players. Um, so, yeah, definitely a thumbs up for how. Stick with him for next season. <laughs> For the first time, Essex score, goal one at the second time, can Essex score?
Have a you hold them dickheads. If you're four for you up, stand up. 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 God, I loved that one of three one, didn't I? It's a minute past the time! No way! Lord of whistle! Lord of bloody whistle! No way! It's actually a minute and a half past the time. Lord of whistle! Lord! Lord! What is he doing? This is a joke, this. Just blow it. Oh my god, ref! Oh. Ref! Oh my god, what are we doing? Ref! I can't, I can't believe this. It's two minutes past the time. Yes! Come on! Come on! We just won 4 3, 3 1 down actually. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? It's just amazing though, because when Lewis Hall came on, I think, he was, I think he should get man of the match and just one of those games which are good. So, what player stood out you today? Lewis Hall. Lewis Hall as well? Ah, he was brilliant, wasn't he? Him and Harvey Barnes, two <laughs> very good subs. Eddie Anderson, to be fair, as well, had a great game when he came on. Everton on Tuesday night, are we beating them? It's a simple question. I think um, I'm going to get you all in and Tenali and all I'm back at the front because squad's going to be down well what an incredible end to the game that was at St James's Park Newcastle pull off the comeback of dreams and one of the best Premier League matches you'll watch all year long incredible comeback performance wise and too West Ham started making some questionable subs it wasn't great I thought West Ham probably deserved to win the game at that stage actually However, for whatever reason, taking the likes of Antonio up and Calvin Phillips on, it just it was just such a stupid move from David Moyes. And speaking of Calvin Phillips now, I want to quickly touch on him because, well, it's a bit of a moment of madness after the game where West Ham fans were actually uh, shouting some abuse towards the player. Now, obviously, in his point of view, I think for anyone, you're getting any kind of abuse, you're never going to want it, and you're... And chances are you're going to react in some capacity, but for Phillips to actually flip off the West Ham fans, especially after what was it? Going to be honest, a shocker from him. He had an awful performance. It definitely doesn't paint him in a good light. I'm kind of glad that she has to dodge the bullet, not getting him in. It was a player that was heavily linked to actually being loaned out in Newcastle, so to not get him in, I've got to be real. It's a good move actually. He's had a horrible match against us, but 
on topic to the game, though, it was great. It was great to speak to so many American Newcastle fans afterwards. Went out, I enjoyed them a lot. You know what that is? It's actually a Chicago uh, strong beverage. I'm starting to feel it a bit now, which is why not seeing my face, but instead seeing the visuals. But uh, I was very pleased with the performance. Uh, the points is what we needed. Um, six point against West Ham, got them on the board. Now we can look forward and potentially push on and get. For me, it has to be seven points in these three games. We've got three against West Ham. Need to be at least four more in the next two. So get the job done, get us back on track, and hopefully European football next season. But yeah, fantastic today.